Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Emelie Andor New Balance Made in UK 991 in the tan and olive colorway. So this tan and olive 991 dropped alongside a gray suede 991 um, in a 2-pack of 991s from ALD. Uh, they dropped via a raffle and I managed to get lucky and uh, get this pair through the raffle. Unfortunately, this first ever Made in UK ALD New Balance collab is also the most expensive New Balance ALD collab and uh, the, both pairs retailed for $275, which is definitely a steep price. But uh, after getting these in hand, um, they're definitely impressive in terms of quality. I wouldn't necessarily say that they're 100% worth it because $275, even despite the amazing quality, is still really up there. But only time will tell once I eventually wear these a lot. This is definitely going to be a great fall shoe. I'm hoping the nice leather will patina as I wear them. Good leathers always have nice patinas as you wear or use them. Uh, I have some nice uh, leather wallets that have patinaed nicely as I've carried them. So hopefully the same will be true for these shoes. So as usual, I'll be doing a full overview of the shoe as well as an on-feet look as well as my thoughts and opinions on sizing, comfort, quality, and design of the shoe. Starting with the box, this ALD 991 collab comes in a special Made in UK box in a gray and green color. At the top of the box you get New Balance branding, ALD branding, and Made in UK branding in green. You also get some branding around the box as well. Starting with the toe box of the shoe, the mug art of the shoe is made out of tan leather. The middle of the toe box is is made out of cream white mesh and surrounding the toe box are two panels of olive green leather and at the very top of the toe box is a small panel of gray suede. Moving towards the middle of the shoe you get more panels of tan leather, more panels of perforated cream white mesh and the lace eyelets of the shoes are also made out of that tan leather and the top lace eyelets are made out of a cream white plastic and in the very middle you get the New Balance N logo in 3M reflective in olive green with a white border and moving towards the ankle area of the shoe you get more panels of leather and mesh another big panel of olive green leather and at the very back of the shoe you get a gray TPU heel clip for stability, um, more panels of that tan leather. At the very top you get a small panel of gray suede and in the middle of the right shoe you get 991 branding in gray and white and on the left shoe in the middle you get an oval cutout with ALD in white and gray. The shoes come with three sets of flat laces, uh, olive green, tan, and cream white. I personally chose to go with the olive green laces to add some more contrast to the shoe and those laces weave on top of a cream white mesh tongue and the very top of the tongue has a gray suede panel with New Balance 991 branding embroidered on in white and the medial side of the shoe is the exact same as the lateral side of the shoe in terms of colors and materials. The back of the tongue and ankle lining are made out of this white textile material and also at the back of the tongue there's this fabric tag with Made in England branding as well as the Union Jack flag. The shoes come with a foam insole with an olive green textile upper as well as an MLE on door tag stitched on in olive green and gold. The midsole of the shoe consists of gray and cream white foams as well as some panels of exposed Absorb foam and Absorb is a proprietary cushioning technology from New Balance that gives the user a good combination of cushioning and responsiveness. And lastly moving on towards the outsole of the shoe you get the standard 991 outsole in black and olive green rubbers. So now that the overview of the shoes out of the way, I'll lace these up and I'll show you how they look on feet. So as for sizing, this ALD Tan and Olive 991 fits like every other 991 I own and that's true to size. I am a true size 9.5 and, and I got these in a size 9.5 and, and they fit me well. But as I always say, if you have the chance to try these on or another pair of 991s on before you buy them, I definitely recommend you do that since everyone's feet are different. For my 3 factor comfort rating, I give the New Balance 991 a 6 out of 10 for cushioning and softness, a 7 out of 10 for stability and firmness, and 
a 7 out of 10 for midsole shape and support. For a lifestyle shoe, the 991 is a pretty comfortable shoe. You get a good amount of cushioning and firmness, so it's not too overly soft or plush on your feet, but it's also not too stiff on your feet, and the midsole shape is also pretty supportive. As for quality, this ALD 991 was amazing. The leathers feel excellent in hand. You can really see the grain of the leather. I mean, you can never go wrong with any high quality tan leather, whether it be on like shoes, bags, or wallets. It looks great on this shoe. Uh, the suede's used on this shoe, uh, although sparingly compared to most other New Balances, were also really excellent. Very soft to the touch, and you can see the strokes whenever you touch it. And the colors all look excellent too. And craftsmanship, I had absolutely no problems on my end. The only thing is uh, the question of, is this shoe, uh, whether it be an ALD collab, it's uh, made in UK, and the leather quality is excellent. I'm not 100% sure if I can definitely say that it's worth that $275 price tag, or uh, let alone resale. I'm not too sure about resale right now. Obviously, you can't get these for retail from ALD right now, but uh, hopefully resale, if you want these, uh, isn't too high. If there's any resale at all, it's a pretty expensive shoe, so maybe resale price won't be that high because of the price, but uh, only time will tell. Overall, I'm really satisfied with the quality and the overall colorway of the shoe. I really like this collab. Uh, the only thing that's just really bugging me was the fact that it retailed for $275, and uh, I can't really justify spending that much on a single shoe, uh, even if it's my favorite brand and it's an ALD collab and it's excellent quality leather. But uh, hopefully as I wear this more often and the leather might have a patina, maybe I can say it was worth it. So that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials. Thank you to all my Patreon backers. Check out the Intelligent site for more New Balance content and guides. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.